Chapter 1 Fan Tales Permission from Bran the Broken Margery threw a wrench into the plans but I believe Sansa did not want to marry Geoffrey after all he had done to her family she hated him and who could blame her. The idea that Sansa would be queen was everything for her only to be sent from one monster to the other. As the supper has been long over Sansa sits by the fire sewing a new cloak and she thinks about who this guest must be she takes up the invitation and unseals the back and under the fire she sees a message and it says, my nation will be born of love. Sansa smiles and somehow believes the paper must be reused from some romantical book much like the fairy tales her scepter and her mother would read her at night before bed. Orion never liked them she always spoiled the ending this memory makes her giggle and she turns the paper again searching for a name a hint if this guest is trying to be clever it could be an interesting arrival and interesting for Sansa as she is very alone and yearns for some excitement just nothing that will have her lose her head or her kingdom a woman alone is not the safest sweet robin ordered 1000 men to stay on guard in winterfell as he was not aware of the manipulations of feet here bellish and he still hopes to make sansa his queen that would only happen if he was the last man who courted Sansa is queen now and the words from her father echo in her mind she is concerned as a new queen how can she further her house without children it has been years and of course in the end one thing that Cersei said was true she was too beautiful to be held up in the deep north of course she is queen and the heir to house Stark her prospects not numerous as these thoughts cross her mind she must see to the castle and read the letters from the realm she has learned to have her birds in the north and this time they are messengers from far and wide. Tyrion is still a concern as she is legally married to Tyrion said the new master of Bran and Sansa new master Aaron he is very smart young and attractive he never meets Sansa's eyes. Brian joked he's in love with his queen no need to question his loyalty he does things he doesn't need to do but Sansa likes it all the while she can ignore his dedication no women would deny a man to serve her with a kind heart and also have respect for her as a woman and his queen. After Sansa prepares for the day she has new lady in her service Lady Joselyn is a bastard from House Frey who offered her allegiance and service she is a beautiful girl said to be a daughter of the mountain no one truly knows she is nothing like him at all and nothing has ever been proven he even knew her mother besides she was left alive and her mother was taken from her not a trace since. It seems strange to some to have a girl in her household who was kin to the family who's led her brother and mother and ban a man. There is a secret. Joseline she has many gifts she is smart well read she can write and she can create any design that Sansa dreams up this is not the only gifts she has. As the day drags on supper is made in the hall and Sansa eats her meat part stew and drinks a Dornish wine. Master Aaron comes in bows and says permission to speak your grace. Sansa tilts her head. Yes you may proceed I beg your pardon she giggles this is new to her still even after all this time ruling the north with the veil and her household 50 strong many in the kitchens daily to feed the poor or those who pass through Sansa has hired a new chef named Hot Pie who will have a residence to help her open the kitchens as a place to earn for her kingdom's pleasure. Letters are being opened and read aloud for an hour at best and Sansa listens attentively she is interested and passionate about ruling of course she still mistakes and keeps her secrets about many issues and orders her troops of soldiers to each realm as she is also wardeness of the north she doesn't. Swing the sword she has a company of men in Dragoonstone contracted to do the work till Sansa marries and her husband takes the duties of course Sansa has to pass the sentence. One more letter your grace as Aaron opens the letter he says I see it's a letter of announcement it appear that you will be entertaining a Dornish prince in Winterfell in a fortnight of course that's within days your grace we must get ready for this mysterious guest. Mysterious guest there is no name written that is not a king I assume this is a rouse we will still make ready our castle for our guest bring out the satin sheets and ensure we decorate in their colors and ours to show respect. 
Sansa is very respectful to other houses she knows very little of Dawn as she was never interested in the houses that was for the men that should be sitting this new throne as she is a new ruler she lacks the training often it is covered by folklore made up of her network of supporters. Of course Sansa is excited to have a guest no one been this far north since the long night and with Jon gone she has no one to oppose her rule it does bother her a bit she does feel slightly guilty but she was last informed Jon has formed his own followers as the king beyond the wall she is not worried about his loyalty to House Stark or the North as Bran would have told her. Bran ruling she is of great importance as her house is the new star and she unlike the other girls HASNT being called on but many are waiting for the right time. Of course there are more letters from foreign houses asking her hand even as far as the reach of other minor houses no one is worried as Sansa is a feast for the eyes more ladylike by the day she has a women's body now and more vivacious than any other queen north south east or west. Sansa has grown into a beautiful woman and she is also queen of the north a wild wilderness of a region she is no warden and often she worries of the influence of a man who can rule like her father as warden and also as a warrior like John and her brother Rob the rulership would be split from there. House to Stark so she must be very careful of who she aligns herself with for a marriage she mustn't make the same mistake as she did with Geoffrey she must marry for an alliance with a man gentle and strong and a clever and cunning but the issue is she is still married to Tyrion in the gods eyes. Old and new she must get the marriage annulled from Lord Tyrion the hand of the king it will not be easy for this to take place and she must go to Westeros no man can court her without having the decree of king to even be calling on Sansa to protect her honor but she is no virgin after what Ramsay has done to her. Sansa calls for her ladies and she undresses to bathe in salt and cedar and musk brought in from her ladies they also put some winter flowers from the weirwood that fall they smell of cherries and Sansa loves it she basks in the water and goes underwater and thinks about her duties and also the future of her house wondering who will she marry and emerges after being shaken from Lady Catherine she is from Craster's and she is one of Gilly's sisters who had a child with a Lord Commander said to be of half hand he fell in love with this widling girl who presented herself as a girl lost from another realm they fell in love he had to return and he never saw her again her mother's name was Jane and she returned to Craster's and had relations with her father and the child was girl and they pretended the baby had died and kept her in secret he had so many wives he often did not take notice before the girl was of age to bear children given to a woman on a court raised in the neck and then she learned to wait on lords as a cup bearer and then to house Stark after the Wildings wall was taken down she was renamed as Lady Catherine and Gilly is the lady of the Hornhill with Samuel and John Tarly she has become a great lady of house Tarly her and Sam are very happy and it is interesting to Sansa to see a man of his size have so much love from a woman. It made Sansa think of a mamari she had of Queen Margery when she said some women love fat men, small men, handsome men, ugly men, little men. Tyrion was a short man but clever and cunning. He loved her as much as he could but did Sansa really give him a chance? Could this be a way for Sansa to have a man of power and not be forced to have him if she doesn't choose to? Lady Catherine calls for Sansa and startles her. My lady, um, I'm sorry your grace Lord Aaron is here to see you. He has arrived from the Vale. Tell Lord Aaron please be patient as I am not descent. Just then she hears a giggle oh my lord you're very gracious and she then hears Catherine giggle again and she says no you am usnt my lord she is in the bath that is not. Lord Robin Aaron barges in the bathing room locking and bolting the room door down and his soldiers are heard in the hall with swords drown no one ever fights with the veil they are the best swordsmen with no mercy till they win so it's a awkward feeling Sansa a fight breaks out she then commands him. To stop you are not welcome here please escort Lord Aaron to his quarters he must be drunk of the poppy I am a queen. Robin looks at her and just stares blankly and smiles he is a handsome man now far as Sansa concerned he is lucky he got in here and she has no inkling as to why he has come unannounced and looking at her in a lustful way. No one could hear her call as they have been ushered off it is quite an event for her she has never been taken in her castle. You have broken trust with my house Sansa scans the room for her sword and Robin grabs his leg pulls it out he has been practicing with cousin Danley and he has become quite a swordsman the Vale has also started training with the faceless men and giving more to their cause for covet. Assassinations of lesser house should they stand against the Vale or conspire to take the northern queen Robin has put in the effort time and patience and protection acting as the warden when he was not asked to. 
Sansa grabs her robes and jumps out to her room divider and she hears Lord Aaron close by I only wanted to see you cousin I am a man now not a boy you can't deny that I am no more my mother's boy. You are out of order please leave my bathing room Robin. I will be your husband I am here to provide the decree of marriage of Sansa Stark and Robin Aaron of the Vale if you accept your marriage will be null and void to Lord Tyrion and I will protect you. Is this true Sansa emerges with her hair wet reading the letter and she sees Bran's seal on the letter and attempts to slap Robin this time he catches her hand and says as I said I am a man now not a boy you owe me I know now that my mother's death was for the love that Bellish bore for you and now you will be my wife and we rule together I don't blame you if she did try to kill you I just hate that you never told me the truth and for that I will rule with you and we will have children that will rule the Vale and the North. Sansa was floored she never thought that little finger taught Robin how to play the game he was carefully planning this and she cries and then turns around and smiles it's not my fault your crazy mother tried to throw me down the moon door I never wanted little finger and I don't want you. Well your brother the king knew you would act this way so he is downstairs waiting in the hall I will leave now I did this to protect you Sansa I do not blame you for my mother she was not well I must return the favor as you slapped me I am slapping you back this time. Bees, seven hells. When you're old enough, I'll make you a match with someone who's worthy of you. Someone who's brave and gentle and strong. I don't want someone brave and gentle and strong. I want him. He'll be the greatest king that ever was, a golden lion, and I'll give him sons with beautiful blonde hair. The lion's not a sigil, idiot. He's a star. What if there's someone else? Someone better? Anything good? It isn't a punishment. I want you back in Winterfell for your own safety. Can we take Syria back with us? Who cares about your stupid dancing teacher? I can't go. I'm supposed to marry Prince Joffrey. I love him, and I meant to be his queen and have his baby. Chapter 3 The Falcon of the Veil. Vale. The wing of the falcon brings to the king, the wing of the crow brings him to the cemetery. As Robin unbars the door with ease he is muscular, and he has grown to be a charming looking man she notices he is quite tall, and in his body is a man's now he is quite good to look at, and Sansa can't help to see the fine specimen before her, but the reality is he may be just as crazy as his mother'd. 
is a thought anyone would have he is smart cunning, and he did think far ahead about the benefit to the Vale and the North. Their military won the Battle of the Bastards. She took the glory for the idea with Robin Aaron's command, or it would have never happened. Robin turns and said to Grace and leaves leaves Sansa just looks on in terror. He has played his hand and won. While Sansa has been thinking she could choose she is furious. Bran has taken her choice. He did tell her he must do what he sees to be the future of House Stark, and as he can't bear. Children the first boy will be his to carry his name and throne Sansa, is determined to see some other ending to this prophecy. There is one mere Rita has been held up in the neck, should she come to her senses, she could be the next woman of Westeros to rule of course, that would mean Sansa would have. The journey there and that is not even a plan she wishes to think of problem, but she does know Robin so far he is cunning handsome and smart, and he has been proving his valor, he may be a good man to align with, but the issue is they are cousins that bothers Sansa to her bones, but this is a marriage. The quest she may not be able to refuse if Bran decrees this marriage she cannot defy him, she will be in open rebellion. Sansa makes herself ready and gets into her dress, and her pulse and her hair is brushed, she also puts on some rose oil and her hair and lips are shined with the same oil this was sent from the veil, and then she leaves her quarters, and her soldiers are somehow back guarding, and she scolds them how. Do you let them take castle the soldiers all say your grace the king commanded it, not by our admission your grace, and the garter as she walks through the hallways Lady Catherine announces her queen you're in the presences of Sansa of the house Stark Wardeness of the North Queen of the North first of her name. Then a man announces who is Davos Seaworth you're in the prickneys of King of Andals Bran the broken king of the seven kingdom protector of the realms of men and you may be seated, and then Bran is wheeled close to Sansa he has grown taller and he says. My sister Sansa Queen of the North I have come all this way, to command the marriage of House Aaron and House Stark as your king I ask you answer. Sansa dost answer she stays quiet, then she smiles and said I ask why your grace. Bran then says because your king commands it. The kingdom was given to you and I told you here in this hall that you must marry soon as you're the queen, and you must further the line of House Stark, as I am not certain I can sire a child for our house. Sansa has an outburst, but you're the three-eyed raven and a king's guard scolds her that is your king. My sister Dost understands stand down she is ignorant to who I am I am the three-eyed raven, but I am still your king first, and I am your brother in flesh and blood as my sister that I gave this kingdom to only to sit the throne in this chair, to ensure that the people of all six kingdoms as Dorne has. Never bend or broken can survive you must marry Robin Aaron it is settled. Sansa is in Dimmy and shed a tear, but Dost wipe it away, and Robin Aaron looks down, and a bit of sorrow he is just so in love with her, and he can't help but feel sorry for her as she questioned the king, how could she think she could get away with this, as she is the reason his mother fell down the wind door and why Uncle Peter is dead to everyone that Robin loved gone because of his own cousin Sansa Stark, she thought I would be a sickly boy forever, that I would never find out the truth of my mother. Robin has grown up very fast since with the care of the protectors of the Vale, and he has been reading and training with men of valor, he can't help but think that everyone he held dear is gone, but he knows he must be a man now, and feeling sorry for himself, is not going to further his line he smirks, and looks forward as he walks down the dark halls, he also thinks of his warm home, he hopes Sansa will grow to love him, he then goes escorted by his men of the Vale to the great hall to wait, thinking that he is being more than, Something I can't deny I did hate Sansa for a fortnight for a while, I wanted to murder her in her bed, but I came to the understanding Sansa was no murderer, as Uncle Petter had murdered my uncle, and also knew of the rouse to kill my aunt. I hardly knew them, but they were still family there are so many questions still about my father, so I have some loyalists looking into my father's murder. As I now cannot trust in the word of my mother Rance and Raves I loved her, but she was clearly dealing with some sort of guilt and paranoid about me being sick, when House Aaron was not known to be a sickly house in any sort my father advanced in age married a young girl, his third wife to have a child and then he died we left King's Landing, and I stayed in the Vale since being raised by Lord Royce and some northern men. I then learned that I up here living in a tree with my mother while the world has changed, and that is when I figured out that I must carry my house with honor and strength and valor, and be strong and protect my kin it cannot and also live a life of forgiveness, I learned that power something that changes men women, it brings out the ugliness of us all big and small, I decided to break the cycle to become a man of honor and marry Sansa to stop the hatred between her mother and mine. Many blessings my name is Aaron Dane of House Starfall, now no time to waste bend the knee, and subscribe turn into a savage in the comments. Join us for chapter 3 in a fortnight.